Iwana leaders, Scott and I have collaborated together to make an assortment of memory verse review games that you are welcome to use in your handbook time to make your review game more fun. So Scott and I will roll through these just to give you a quick explanation, but there are directions with each game. So first I'll show you the remote control. This is pretty self-explanatory. You would press power and that's when you would uh, start the verse. You can stop, play, rewind would be to spin around, fast forward to say it faster, the volume, and slow down. Okay, we have here, pick a square. So you would just have a kid pick one of these number squares. And then in the back of here, it'll tell you what to do. So for example, square one is say the verse by yourself without looking with no help. Or number six is the whole class gets to say the verse together. So they basically get different ways that they can say the verses and they can pick the, pick the square and uh, it'll change it up. Okay. This is a personal whiteboard. This one, unlike any of the other games, is limited to a smaller group. You should only play this if you have 11 kids or less. So there's enough personal whiteboards and whiteboard markers in the kit here. So you could say the verse, let's you say you would do it like this. I would say John 3, 16, for God so the world that he gave his only begotten son. And then you would ask the kids to pick what word was missing. So they would write loved on their personal whiteboard and hold it up and continue on with other words. Okay, this is called Places Stand Up. So it's got a number of cards in here. And the cards have different things, pictures with illustrations and names on them. So this one says zoo. So you would do, what you would do is say those who have, you pick this card out and say those who have been to the zoo stand up and say the card together. And then you can go on to the next card, which, which will be a different place. This is directions to a fun game. It's called pick one. So you would pick one kid that would say the verse. And then that kid can pick another kid to say the verse with them. And then that kid picks another kid. So now you have three kids that say the verse and another kid. You have four kids that say the verse together until the whole class is saying the verse. All right. This one is called volume control. So with this one, you basically, you can extend this down. And you can indicate whether you want the kids to say it really softly. Or you can point up here. Oh, sorry. To say it really loud, so that just gives you a chance to change the volume of the verse. Okay, this one is called Letter Jump Up. So in the bag are a bunch of different letters. The kids can pull out a letter. This is letter A. So any word on, or any ver word in the verse that starts with the letter A, the kids would jump up on. Then you can put that letter back and pull out another letter, and it's a letter E. There's lots of letters inside the bag. Okay, this is Guess Who. This was you read the verse with the children beginning. Uh, and ending with the address. So then you choose a child. That child will stand at the front of the verse, in front of the class, and uh, they will turn their back to the class and say the verse together. And then the leader, without telling the kid up front, will point to a child and they will give the reference. And they'll disguise their voice. And the child who has their back to the class has to pick who said that. And then based upon that, you can choose who says the verse next. That was one of my favorites. I love it. Okay, this one is pass the ball. So you would have all the kids stand in a circle and pass the ball around. They would each say one word to the verse. Then whichever kid is holding the ball at the end gets to choose an action that all of the kids would do when you say the verse the next time. Here are some examples of actions the kids could choose. They can wiggle your eyebrows, touch your nose, jump up and down, run and play, stand on one foot, sit down, cross your legs, spin around in a circle, pat your head. You get the idea. Okay, this is a... This is a dice, a giant dice. So after you teach the kids the verse, you can roll this and this will tell them how to say the verse next. So if this one comes up, they will jump up and down while they say the verse. Or another one might be to spin slowly. Okay. This one's really similar to that. This is the small dice that they roll and you can follow the guide. So they would stand up and say the verse while jumping up and down. And you'll notice that this is two-sided with different directions on each side. Our last game here is stop and go. This is uh, a fun one. So there's a stop sign and a go sign. So you would do go. The kids would start saying the verse and then you can stop. You would point to a kid and that kid would want to say the next word to the verse. Then once he says that word, then he can point to another kid that says the next word who points to another kid that says the next word. If any time a kid doesn't know the word to the verse, then you can start over and you would go again and start working on the verse again. Another thing to remember, those are all of the games. Note that right here, there are some whiteboard markers and an eraser. If you ever need some, you're welcome to take those and use them in your uh, handbook group. There's a first aid kit down here that you can use. Anything here on this shelf is for your use. Thank you.